one of the testing that we perform on onshore and offshore uh, is the CPT. The CPT stands for Cone Penetration Testing. And in this particular case, what we do is we probe the soil. We take a, a conical device attached to a rod and uh, by uh, penetrating that into the soil, we can measure the resistance that the soil opposes to that penetration and we have uh, that recording. But in addition to that, we have several other measurements, uh, such as the pore pressure. So behind the cone, we have uh, a pore pressure transducers that record what the soil is trying to do. Uh, is it trying to expand or is it trying to contract? And, uh, and that is recorded to as the excess pore pressure. Uh, the, the total pore pressure is subtracted from the um, groundwater um, static pore pressure and that gives you a, a measure of what the soil is trying to do. So it's a measure of behavior. In addition to that, we have the sleeve resistance behind the cone that uh, provides uh, a, se several uh, key pieces of information. One is the resistance through penetration after the cone has passed and it's a measure of, for example, residual strength, but the combination of tip resistance and um, the sleeve resistance uh, gives us uh, an indication of what kind of soil we're traversing to. Now, the CBT can actually be much more uh, sophisticated. You can have, for example, uh, geophones to measure shear velocity and um, so the CPT that we normally use is CPTU with pore pressure measurements, uh, but we have the SCPT, which is essentially a seismic wave, and we can estimate the shear velocity of the ground, and we can use that for either seismic analysis or for, for a more comprehensive uh, interpretation of soil properties.